We're gonna see if this works. All right, everybody. Yes. Yeah, okay, great. Here we go. Bold Live is happening. I'm Casey Kasperzik, and you just watched the special behind the scenes of the making of Bold and Beautiful in Rome. And right over there is my good friend, Lawrence St. Victor. What's going on, Lawrence? What's up, man? I'm very excited. So excited for this right now. We, we got a lot to talk about. It's been a long time since we've done a Bold Live. Yeah. And we what need a to perfect way to come back yes right with lots of lots of uh lots of fun things to talk about i missed everybody i want to thank you all for being here um and we're going to talk about um i don't know what's going on in the world of bold and beautiful what's going on behind the scenes and um it all happens right here in three two one boom we're here Lawrence, we, <laughs> we made, I'm here, just checking man. to make sure everybody came you? over. Hey, everybody. Hi, Patrick, Lacey, Jerry. Uh, yes, Jerry, it was Lawrence's birthday this week. So let's give every everybody, let's give Lawrence a very happy birthday. Yes. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Jerry, is your birthday June 14th as well? You said birthday partner. I think he is might be. the same day? Oh, wow. What so um, you know besides besides having the week off for your birthday because uh, bold and beautiful is dark mm -hmm. this week. Um, what all, yes. what all did you do for your birthday? Man, last year was a big birthday. It was a big celebration. So this year it was just chilled. I just chilled and relaxed and binge watched Snowfall, and then went out to dinner. It was okay. wonderful. Okay, <laughs> the the final season it's of real Snowfall. Okay. Well, I've, I've been behind like a few seasons. Oh. So I said, I'm going to use this time to just lie in bed and just relax, eat junk food and just chill. That's it was wonderful. you know what? That's what you do, should do for your birthday. Um, now, man. Uh, but also, I think we all a little bit recovering from um, our location shoot in Rome, which we did back in yes. mid-May. And, um, yeah. you know, you don't you don't just come back from Rome um and uh not feel the effects of it i mean because we we work hard and we play hard <laughs> let me tell you we play hard we play hard and we came back we still had work the next week it wasn't like we we had like a dark week after rome we still came back to the studio and that's right jet we, lag but you know making it happen we for those of you that were there we wrapped on wednesday and um we were back in production on tuesday so there was like a yep. little time for recovery, <laughs> but I do know that um, your wife Shay joined you, and you got to you got to experience some of Italy. Yeah, yeah, we stayed in Rome for a day, and then we went to Florence for a few days, and just beautiful, man. Yeah. Just, just it was so romantic, and the Italian Renaissance, and it, it was wonderful. Well, um, I I'm jealous because I I would love to have had more time to look around, but um, next you're time, busy. Next time, you know, <laughs> yeah. I always say you have to enjoy um, when we're shooting. You have to enjoy the the, the locations that we're at, and I'm really excited mm -hmm. for uh, our audience to get to see what we got to see in all these um, all these episodes. Because every episode, I'm just so excited because there's like. Um, not only is there an amazing story, which we'll we'll kind of get into, but I can't talk about it too much. But uh, you right. get to if you've never been to Rome or if you've been to Rome before, you're gonna really enjoy this um, this these episodes. And um, I don't know for you, Lawrence, what was your favorite like uh, your favorite part of Rome that you got to experience? Ah oh, man, it is my first time. In Italy, well, okay, you're really so it's taking it all in. I don't, I didn't have a, a favorite place. My favorite was after we're done shooting, like Annika and Matthew, or a different day, Annika and Torsen and I, we would like just stroll around for an hour until dinner. And yeah. sometimes we just strolling in the rain, just bumping into just anything, you know. So it, it just all of it was beautiful. I mean, and it, what's so what for me, it's like you've got this, uh, you know, very urban city set in all these ancient ruins and and, you know, yes. sculptures and buildings. And it's just like it's this 
combination of it. For me, I kind of felt like it's a little bit of New York. It's a little bit of LA because it's so spread out and then it's all Rome, mm -hmm. you know? So it's uh, just ancient Rome. And the Colosseum did take my breath away. That yes. was surreal. Yeah. Being in the Colosseum from the ground looking up, like where, you know, people fought and all that stuff. And hearing the yeah. science behind the way they flooded it to have a naval show and was able to get the water yeah. out, like just the brilliance. It was wonderful to see that. For sure. Well, it's been a long time since I've gotten to uh, chat with the fans. So why don't we get to the, you know, the phone lines? I want to open those, those guys up. Mm -hmm. If you remember... The phone lines, um, I think well, this is a new number. <laughs> My longtime viewer, Rebecca, probably is saying, uh-oh, what is that number? Yeah, it's a new number. So the old number, I don't know where it went. I don't know. David, where'd the old number go? I don't know. Moderator David. <laughs> anyway, Cheryl says today's show was great. Well, Cheryl, that was this is just kind of the oh, um, thank you, Cheryl. The appetizer. It's a little sprinkle. Yeah, a little sprinkle. Yeah. You're going to, you know, the, the main course is coming later. And then, of course, we, you know, we've, we've announced and it's out there that Andrea Buccelli is going to be part of these Italian shows. So um, you don't want to mm -hmm. miss any any episode any day because it's this is a fun. I, we haven't gotten to do a big Italian remote in a long time. So this is a lot of fun. Yeah. Casey, while we're waiting, I have a question for you, man. I'd like yes. to ask you a question. As everyone can imagine, it takes a lot of preparation to do a show like this, uh, yes. a lot of weeks, months. But when you got there and you're shooting, what is something that you experienced that you did not expect? Mm -hmm. Challenging or amazing? What is something that popped up where you were like, wow, didn't see that coming? You know, I. it's like um, the, the, the main thing, the main thing that is always like I'm you can't prepare for enough is the language uh barrier with the mm -hmm. with the crew so a lot of the crew speak english but sometimes how i'm describing something isn't quite how they describe it so i learned as uh... we were shooting to be i'm either just act it out or show a picture <laughs> you know so that i could, oh, wow. I could get wow. so that we could be on the same page quicker because they did add extra time which i'm we're used to this we've shot in you know um Italy before we shot in, you know, Paris and uh, there's a language barrier, but it's just that the kind of the, the translation. So I don't know, maybe I might mm -hmm. need to take up Italian. Hey, I think we should definitely go back and shoot some more. And in that yes. case, I mean, I want to go back so Italian. bad uh, to shoot more episodes. Dude. And but this time I want to know some Italian, right? Yes, it would be helpful. Well, since Carter's fluent in Italian, it'd be helpful if I learned a little <laughs> bit of Italian. <laughs> yeah, but I say we had a really, really amazing crew, and um, that's the thing I'm nervous about. Like, is 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 the crew going to work out? And I mean, they went above and beyond. So I'm just yeah. like, well, I guess you never know, right? Like, you, you don't know, know until really day one. Yeah. No, and I had an amazing first AD, and she just was very... She was like, a beast. She was awesome. <laughs> she ran a very tight <laughs> ship, and, like, like uh, I really... I, I wouldn't have stayed on schedule if it wasn't for her. You know, it was like I was pulling my I hair just... out at some at sometimes. But and you see her in uh, the behind-the-scenes video, but she was great, um, Jeannie. Her so. voice would cut through a large group of yes. people. Everybody! I know. I just take, I just have her <laughs> her her yell. It would be a lot... A lot Okay, well let's let's go to the phone lines because I want to see who's there. I want to talk to people. Hello, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Casey and uh, Lawrence. This is Jerry calling to you from come calling from Gulfport, Mississippi. How y'all doing this evening? Uh, I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing good, Lawrence. Happy late birthday to you, my brother. Yes, we do have the same Thank birthday, you, man. Thank you. All right. Well, happy birthday, Jerry. June 14th. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, happy birthday, man. Yeah, but I see Nico K in there also, uh, also got a birthday on June 14th. So happy birthday to you, too, as well, Nico. Ah. Okay. Well, so now are you watching the show, Jerry? Yes, sir, I am. I just, matter of fact, I just saw the premiere when y'all went to Italy, and it, it, it's, it's nice over there in Italy. Real yeah. nice over there. 
Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. It's just mm -hmm. nice to be able to travel again, too, you know, that the world's opening up. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's uh, it was just a very, very special place to be. Yes, sir, it is. I'm, I'm glad you guys got a chance to go over there to witness the the history of Rome over there in Italy. And I mean, it's just, mm. it's just beautiful. And I'm glad you guys got to uh, experience that. All right. Well, Jerry, thank you for calling in, and uh, we appreciate you watching. Thank you, Jerry. No problem. Also, happy, happy birthday to all the fathers out there. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed weekend, and we'll talk on the next time. Absolutely. All right. See you, Jerry. All right. Yeah, you that's too, true, man. Lawrence. This is uh, you got a big weekend now. You have your birthday, and now you got Father's Day. Man, it's a wonderful. I like. I like that. When my birthday and Father's Day, yeah. they're right there. I get. Two guaranteed days off from any, ah. any responsibility <laughs> in the house. It's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? You know who. Hey, guys, it's Rebecca. What's up? Whoop, whoop. Rebecca from San What's Clemente. What's up, Rebecca? I dialed as quick as I could. <laughs> I know. It's a new number. How are you guys doing? I missed you. I know. Well, now you, now you understand, Rebecca. I've been a little busy. <laughs> Yep. It's been really busy. I know. I've okay, been, I've, get I've, to the question so I don't oh, hold you up. Um, okay, where would you like to travel next? The question for both of you. I'll, I'll take. Where would you like to travel to next with the show? Mm. Man, I mean, I hear Spain is wonderful, Casey. Well, yes. I hear Spain. The is problem nice. with that, though, is that the Bold and the Beautiful is not on the air in Spain. So right. we typically travel to countries where the bold and beautiful is broadcast. So Italy is our, our, our number one with Australia. So we, we're we due for an Australian trip. I've never been to Australia. Let's go. I think we should do an Australia trip. Let's do it. Do Australia <laughs> um, and maybe France. Uh, I've never oh, been to France. That'd be amazing. <laughs> well, six weeks. It was long. I missed the show. Was it six much. weeks? Yeah, wow. something like that, almost. Yeah. So, what do you think oh, of the show, person. Rebecca? I love want, it, of course. Do you want Carter, Carter, and Katie to happen? Sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. Why not? Sure. Why not? <laughs> Why not? If it can't be me in that character, it has to be her or Whoa, somebody. Hey now, hey now. <laughs> yes. Hey, Rebecca. Did, yes. So, um, real, real talk had a question and wanted to know what did Carter say to Katie about Quinn in bed? Oh yes, I, I saw that. They, uh, real talk was saying because when Katie and Carter were in bed, and Katie asked Carter about what was it like with Quinn, what was going on, and Carter alluded to. I guess it was just sex. And this is Carter's rationale for those that were upset by that remark. Carter risked everything to be with Quinn. Yeah. He risked his reputation with Ridge, his job at the company because he believed in that love. And then she left him. And her leaving him made him think, well, if she can just leave me, then maybe it wasn't the love I thought it was. It couldn't be. Because if we were as in love as I thought, as he thought he was, there's no way she can just leave him, for whatever her reasons were. Mm -hmm. So that does make Carter question mm -hmm. that entire relationship. So he's like, it must have been just passion. It must have been because if it wasn't, she'd still be here. Yeah, yeah. So that's well, Carter's. Thanks kind of for rush. showing her picture at the beginning too. Well, thanks Rebecca for pointing that out. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> They're still showing we have, her we have, a, at we the have an update coming soon. It makes us think if she's going to come back or not, you know? You never know. <laughs> never know both. Well, Rebecca, <laughs> yep. it's, it's good to t hear your voice. And um, we, you will, too. we will uh, talk again soon. Thank you, Rebecca. My mom says to tell you happy birthday, too, Lawrence. Uh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I do want to shout out to Mona. Mona, how are you? I've missed you. I know I, there's been a couple of bold lives you haven't been on, but uh, Mona also pointed out the Netherlands. Yes, the Netherlands is a big uh, country for us, and we oh. I forget it was mm, it was must have been nine years now that we went back there and we shot. 
um, some episodes and had a huge fan event. So that was fun. So maybe. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Angie says, love Lawrence. Hey, welcome Hello? to Gold Live. What's your name? Where are you Angie. from? Angie. Maria from Philly. Hi, Maria from Philly. Have you called in before? Hey. I have, yes. I thought Hello, I, I thought Lawrence. I recognized your voice. So yeah, say hi to Lawrence. Yeah, then the, my sister had called in after. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, I remember the yeah, yeah. So what are you thinking of the <laughs> show right okay, now? Hi. Oh my god, I'm loving every minute of it. And my husband and I watch it together, and my son is even getting into it. We how old's your son? He's 14. Oh, that's great. Okay. Great. So, so now, are you, I mean, what are, what are <laughs> you it. thinking of this, um, well, I don't want to give too much of the storylines away, but who is, who is your top couples on the show? <laughs> okay. You just I want us. Brooke and Rage, obviously. Okay, Brooke and Rage mm-hmm. have to get back together. So they have to. Uh, mm-hmm. Lawrence, you belong to Katie. Um, you don't want I Katie and Bill? No, if I want to. No. No. Bill needs to move on, and there's got to be a love interest for Bill. We need someone for Bill. Um, well, he had Sheila for a, for a bit, but that didn't. That... Oh no, that was that was really like I did not expect any of you that. Did, uh, that yeah. was a, that blew my mind. Yeah. That was that was really like you guys <laughs> did a great job with that. Yeah. I mean, that was, that was the best storyline. I mean, I was fooled. I was like, no way. This is... But Lawrence, yeah, I would love to see you with Katie. Carter and Katie, yeah. 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 We just want to see Carter happy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it's she there's so much. And, you know. The, the <laughs> yeah, marriage, let me be happy for a little bit. The author and the oh. Yeah, you deserve to be with Katie. For sure. No, no. A lot of mess. Leave leave (laughs) Quinn out of it, please. (laughs) Too much drama. You deserve it. (laughs) Propose. You know what? Propose to Katie. Uh, Propose. Okay. Yeah. I think Carter's, for the first time, Carter's taking his time. (laughs) Yeah. Well, no, that's what I, you know, that's what I thought in the beginning. I love how you guys just took your time and built a friendship. And that's when I think the love yeah. comes in, and I think that's what it's all about. I think you should start off that way and work into the love. And I love how you guys are doing the show. I love everything about the show. And I, I'm telling you, I oh, my goodness. I'm like, oh, I don't want you to say me off. Uh- <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, well thank you for your love. <laughs> Yeah, oh, no problem. You, and thank happy you for your love. Birthday and no problem. And who does your son like? Love is so and keep... Oh, thank you. Who does thank your son you. like on the show? He, just, he, he, I don't know if there's anybody specific. He just gets in there. He's like, oh, why she did, why is Stuffy doing that? Or why, yeah. Oh, why is that person doing that? Or what it, oh my God. He's like, <laughs> and we just sit there and laugh because he knows what's going on. It's just like he, he's shy. So it's like, you know. He still on the, the low, you know, but he watches, he pays attention, so well, this is cool. Well, thank you for taking time out to call in. <laughs> oh, no problem. Maria thank from you for Philly. My call. Yeah, thank you, Maria from Philly. You have a great weekend. You too. Happy Father's Day, Lord. Thank you. All right, bye bye. All right, let's see. We got a, got a lot of calls oh, here thank waiting you to so much. come in, so we're gonna. Keep it going on the phone line. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Gina from Frankfurt. Hey. Gina, I've missed you. Hey, I miss you too. What's happening hey, in Frankfurt? Gina. Say hi to Lawrence. Well, I'm actually at Walmart right now. Okay. With my friend shopping, and I saw that you guys were on live, and I'm like, oh my God, I got to oh. put this on. So I'm so glad you guys are live, and um, hope you guys are doing well. Now, what are you getting at Walmart? I've been enjoying the show. 
Um, groceries. I got some bananas, and um, actually, for mm. Father's Day, I'm making uh, my parents' breakfast. So I'm going to do French toast and wow, make a oh, nice breakfast for my father for Father's Day. What time's the breakfast, Lawrence and Eric? Uh, right. Um, actually, nine yeah, o'clock we, mass we on Sunday, so yeah. right after nine o'clock <laughs> mass. Oh, we got, so, yeah, I'll have you guys over. First, and then breakfast. Yes, yes, yes. Sounds but I want to say that everybody on Bold has been looking okay. we'll beautiful. Be there. Uh, Stephanie's been looking beautiful. They've all been dressing mm. so beautiful. And I have to say, Carter, you, you look stunning. Mm. And my question to you is, out of um, all the places <laughs> that you've gone on the soap here, which one is your favorite? Wait, what's the, wait. Yeah, I, your, I, your favorite I, place, I, Casey, like I, I know you're going you, to, to Rome favorite. now, but out of all the places oh, well, that you've no gone question. on the here. Fa my favorite place that we shot in, um, Lawrence, was Cabo San Lucas. Because oh, okay. we stayed in a private resort and oh. all of our rooms had hot tubs on the balcony. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Very yeah. cool. And when we arrived at the wondering. resort, excuse me. When we arrived at the resort okay. and went to our rooms, there was a margarita man in the room making margaritas for us. And where was um, Brooke when she was with Ridge um, with the olive tree when she when? He oh, had to pick an olive. Oh, in Italy. That was in Puglia. Puglia. Oh, okay. Puglia, I remember Italy. that scene, and I really liked it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. That was really, really yeah, nice. Yeah, Italy's always been very and special I to say, Ridge and Brooke. Yeah, I haven't watched uh, today's episode yet, but I am when I uh, get home. Hmm. Wait, Lawrence, so did I'm you looking say forward you caught, to it. Cause... You caught today's episode? Lawrence? Yeah, how does it feel you watching I it, did. watching your own show? I did. Yeah. How does it feel? Do you hear me? Like you get the popcorn out and the soda or the what, <laughs> glass of wine and like uh, here I, I, I am, I <laughs> I'm right it. there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have to say too. Well, I, um, do. Well, I Deacon, do because he, you know when you're he, acting on this. Deacon is doing really well too. He's he's doing great in his uh, part. He's playing the good restaurant guy. Yes. Oh, yeah. Every well, time I eat pizza, I think of him. Oh yeah. Ah. Well, Gina, thank you so much for calling in. And <laughs> yes, and thank you for taking taking my call. Sorry, I can't see it right now because the fact that I'm on at Walmart. But once I hang up, I could go back and actually continue watching. But I'm so glad you took my call in. <laughs> well, have a great time. And uh, Carter, are you a, are you a father? Are you a dad? I am. I yes. want to say, it. okay, yes, happy Father's Day then. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> All right, bye, Gina. Uh, thank you. And, so, and thank, thank you, you again. You. Bye, bye. You. Bye, bye. All right, that's Gina. She's a uh, she's a faithful viewer of Bold Live. I know Gina saying. Gina said, "Who's this, oh. Gina? Gina DeBella? Is this the show? Who's the guy on the left? Is that me? Who who am I? Oh, Gina. Well, welcome to Bold Live. Um." I'm Casey. I'm the new... producer on The Bold and the Beautiful and host of Bold Live. <laughs> and I'm here with special guest Lauren St. Victor. Hi. And, and directed this, these wonderful yeah, directed oh, these wonderful Italy episodes. I did get the awesome opportunity to, to flex my directing muscles. And, uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a pretty cool experience. And maybe, maybe uh, yeah, well, I'll have more to share on that. Um, but if you didn't... Uh, see it before we started this bold live today. There's a special 10 minute behind the scenes video of how we put all the Italy shows together. So it's kind of a, and it's also a sneak peek for you savvy, bold, and beautiful viewers where you'll be able to kind of pick up the breadcrumbs. But I don't want to be rude to the person online. So, hi, welcome to Bold Live. Mm -hmm. Caller, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, hello, can you hello. hear me? Loud and clear. Who is this? Well, that's 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 good because yeah, this hey, is man. Ray Bannister from Staten Island. Hello, Ray from Staten Island. Say hi to Lawrence. Hey, Staten my Island. brother Lawrence. Happy belated birthday, man. 
And how you doing, Casey? Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. I'm just so excited that these Italy shows are finally airing because this has been <laughs> something in the work since like March. It's been working hard. <laughs> I man. see it. And yeah, can yeah, I yeah. tell you a secret? They're yeah. not done yet. Wow. <laughs> the show that airs Thursday is well, well, not done yet. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. The shows that air Thursday wow, and Friday, I, they're, I, you got I'm it. still working on it. You got them. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got it, man. Yeah, I have a. Hopefully they air. I have a. <laughs> okay, yes? You will. Yeah, I have a. I have a question, you know, um, Lawrence, you still uh, one of the writers for the show, right? I am, yes. Okay, um, you know, I'm just, I mean, I just have a suggestion, if I may. I'm just curious how come, you know, uh, with the Hope and Thomas storyline, I mean, I know that um, Scott Clifton is Liam, you know, has a lot to say. And he's very vocal, but I'm just surprised why Sean Kanan as Deacon is not more of an involved parent. So I'm just curious about your take on that. Do you, How do you think it would fare well if, you know, he had a simple conversation with Thomas? Oh, interesting. From a writer's standpoint. I think that's very interesting. I, yeah, I think that's interesting. I think Deacon, it's a, I think it's a, it's a delicate situation because as a father who's messed up so much and he's working to be in hope's good graces, it could be kind of tricky showing that you're not trusting of her choices. And like, who is Deacon to say he doesn't trust hope's decisions? So I feel like that, that could be kind of, you know, that line can be kind of tricky, especially since Deacon was literally just like holding up with Sheila. He didn't tell people. <laughs> was like he he's still I think oh, trying oh, to get on the good mm -hmm. foot before oh, he can really true. like pull that his people still, aside and give mm -hmm. great advice. Yeah, I mean he's he's oh. still a recovering, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You got a good point, bro. Yeah, well, thanks a lot. You know, again, happy belated birthday, and both of you guys uh, keep doing what you do. Thank you, man. Uh, thanks, Ray. And happy Father's Day coming yes, up, sir. Thank you. All right, bye bye. I just want to Thank say hi to Melia. Melia is on here. Uh, she's a fan from Hawaii, and she was also in Rome uh, at, when we were shooting there. So Melia, oh, you cool. have a you have a cameo oh. in, a co in a couple of those scenes. So be sure you're watching on Wednesday. That show's done, by the way. The oh, Wednesday show's nice. done, but the Thursday Friday show they're not done. You have time. You have you have a lifetime. You have a lifetime, Kate. I like to play with fire. I like to play with fire. Um, I'm just reading, I'm just taking time to read some of these comments. Um, yeah, some comments about RJ. Well, you know, that's Casey, like, while you're reading, let me ask yes. you a question. Okay. Well, I, I'm curious, and I don't know if this gives anything away, so you might not be able to answer fully. Do you have a favorite location that you shot in in, in, in this last trip in Rome? Was there, was there a, a special spot where you were really happy with just being there? You know, I think it was uh, in a Piazza Novona. I mean, I'm sure it's all special. But no, yeah, one? but the Piazza Novona. I just think mm -hmm. that day, um, gosh, it just, we had a situation where there was a, like, transportation was delayed. Uh, we had a we had a, a crazy morning where I had this vision. I we needed to shoot at like four different locations in like an hour, and they looked at me like I was crazy. And um, we did it. We got it done. Mm. But then getting to the next location where it was our big date, there was like, what were you guys in some traffic situation or something? I don't know. A lot of you got out of the car and just walked. I was okay. I think the other. Yeah, but I just think, but I, think I didn't walk. Someone walked. Uh, I forget. Yeah, uh, I think Torsten. He's like, I'll just walk. But um, um, I think when we that, but you you got to admit that Piazza Novona was beautiful, and uh, especially those rooftop scenes that we shot. Gorgeous. Yeah. So I was happy how that day came. Oh, gorgeous. How that gorgeous. whole day came out, and how like how the shoot ended, and I was just you know really grateful for everybody and um i just we we got lucky we got lucky that it was the weather was not overly sunny 
which helps in terms of lighting. Yeah. You know, so we got lucky that way. Um, of course, I would have loved, yeah. I would have loved so more blown time, out. Yeah. But yeah. So, um, well, Lawrence, I want to take a few more callers before we have to go. <laughs> Let's see who else is there. I miss our callers. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? <laughs> hey, it's just Tony. I'm in New Jersey. My wife, Sandra's here too. We both watch. Hey, I'm sorry. What's your name again? Tony. Tony. All right. Hello, Tony from uh, New Jersey. Say hi to Lawrence. Hey, Lawrence. Tony, what's doing, up, buddy? man? Uh, enjoying the show right now. Doing great. Uh, hey, my man. Sandra's here too. I'm good, brother. Hi. Hi, Lawrence. Hey, um, I, I, that pre video that you had on before, the behind the scenes hi, video. Hi, how are you? We, we did love that video that you had of uh, the behind the scenes. Uh, thank you, Tony. Yeah. Thank you. Um, uh, we're hoping to do more of those. Uh, that was a very special thing put together. Yeah. And um, yeah, we had to actually cut it down a bit because it gave away too many spoilers. So maybe we'll have a oh, longer edition yeah, later. Yeah, I was, that would be great. I'd love to see more of that. And I, I do have a yeah. question, though. I, I went down to um, the lift this afternoon, you know, pump some iron. And, and my wife is like, uh, keep your shirt on. Yeah. So, <laughs> So I don't know what's with you guys. You know the, the fellows there. What I don't know what kind of gym. I know, especially if you saw today's episode. It started with three shirtless guys working out. <laughs> yeah. And so. and and but and and uh, I don't know, Lawrence. If you saw that, you know. Normally, I did norm see that. Normally, you're the guy. I was so out happy Carter was on a flight to Rome that day. Yeah, I, but I'm sure he was working out in the plane. I mean, that's yes. a long flight. I'm so happy. Oh that. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> took his shirt off and started working out in the plane. Oh, sure. <laughs> At the gym. At the gym. Ooh. What gym do you go to, right? Hey. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't want to tie it up, but thanks very much for taking our call and love the show. Keep All right. Going, Thank man. you, Tony. Yep. Thank thanks, you. Man. All right. Bye bye. Yep. All right. Bye. Well, with that, we're going to close up the phone line. And uh, Lawrence, this has been fun. Uh, getting to reconnect and talk to all Dude. our fans and talk about Italy. And there's going to be more to talk about. I know next week, next week, lovely, but I have to get the episodes done. That's where they get to see the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. You got it, man. Okay. Well, yeah. Lawrence, before you go, you can't leave without <laughs> saying hello or fan roll call. You remember this? So, uh, all of you who are watching, please go ahead and start yes. typing, typing your name. And Lawrence is going to say uh, hello to all of you. Um, so we'll just wait till you start typing your name and then uh, start saying hello. Oh, Mona, you're the best. Lily, can we get Matthew and Annika? Maybe. Jerry. Uh, oh. Yay. Yeah, hey. Angie, what's up, Angie? Jerry, my man, happy birthday. Uh, Joan, what's up? Amy, Ray, <laughs> some said thirsty boys. <laughs> All the Theo sisters, love y'all. Cheryl, Gina D, Lynn, Dominique, Edna, Candace, Candy, uh, Marco, Charlotte, Charla, Dominique, John, Patrick, Steven, Katie, Donna, Tika, Stefan, Charlotte, Penny, Dawn, Amy, thank y'all so much. Someone said, Casey, I am your father. <laughs> I don't know. That might be my, is that my Rebecca, dad? I don't know. Penny. Is your dad on? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Rhoda Lee. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Rhoda Lee. Noreen. I uh, love you too. All right. And time. That's it. Sorry Take, for your uh, you. Boom. <laughs> All right. Well, Lawrence, happy, it's been said. I'm, enjoy your birthday week, month, year, and enjoy your Father's Day. Uh, I will. I will. All right. And we'll talk <laughs> later. Thank you, man. And Casey, I hope you're taking the time to smell the roses because yes. you did an amazing job with this shoot, man. I hope well, you're, thanks. I hope, hope I you're hope. taking it in because it's really, really good. Thank, thank you. I really appreciate that. All right. We'll yeah. talk to catch up later. Really good, man. All right. Thank All right, you, Lawrence. Peace. Yes, sir. All right. Well, there you have it. Lawrence saying, Victor, 
Carter Walton catching up on the bold and the beautiful. Um, it was really great to hear uh, all of you who called in and hear your voices and reconnect because it's been a while and I missed all you guys and I'm sorry. It's just been a little crazy busy here at the bold and the beautiful. Uh, but we do appreciate your support and for watching the show and for, you know, all you do to keep uh, the bold and beautiful on the air. Like we do this for all of you and, um, you know. It's just, it's just, it's just nice to have a place where we can all chat. So yeah, next week, David, I don't know who's going to be on the bold and the beautiful next week or bold live next week. I know who's going to be on the bold and beautiful as long as I get those episodes done. Um, but we need to, um, announce that real soon. Hey, you can also reach out to me or follow me on Instagram at Casey Cass or on Twitter at Casey Kasperzik. And again, I'll probably post that video that we aired earlier today. And if you want to um, check that out again, it'll probably be uh, somewhere on that social media channels there too. Um, but I really do wish you all the best. And with that, our time has come to a close. So I want to say be bold, be beautiful. And yes, I mean it. Be back next week for an all new Bold Live. We'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody. So that's it. That's it, Katie. It's been a long time since I've gotten to say that.